in this quick lesson, we're going to learn three things. Uh, one of them is we're going to learn how to use a spreadsheet, how to create a graph in a spreadsheet, and how to share that graph with your teacher. So let's just take a look at the spreadsheet, which can be posted online. If we go to engagestudents.ca and go to assignments, you'll notice that underneath English, we have math, and it's got graphing spreadsheets one. So we're going to click on that take a quick look at it because that's what you're going to create eventually. So in this example we have the percent of boys and girls watching TV per day and we've gathered some statistics so you can see them on the side right here and then on the other side you can see the graph. So if you're not used to spreadsheets they're fairly simple. They're basically a grid with each column named after a letter, A, B, C, D, so on, and each row named after a number. So if you look at a location such as this one right here, that location would be B3. This location down here would be C6. With spreadsheets, there are three basic types of information that you can type into each cell. This is called the cell right here. This is another cell. That's A2. The first type is text, which you see here. The second type is numbers. And the third type, which is not on this spreadsheet, is formulas. Another interesting thing about spreadsheets is when you change data, for instance, if we change this number, if you look carefully at the graph at the side, it'll automatically change. Notice that the graph now reflects five hours of TV watching. OK, so how are you going to do it? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the school website, adamscott.ca. Uh, you're then going to log in. And this is the main area of Google Apps. This is actually called Google Docs. Notice that Google Apps allows you to send email. Everybody in the school is on the email system. Also allows you to create web pages through sites. And if you want, you can, you can even put a calendar in. This area here has a few good features. One of them is you can upload any file. And because it's running through a browser, that means that that file is available on any computer with a browser. So what I use this feature for is to get rid of my memory stick. So you can actually upload up to files which are 200 megabytes. The other part of it is create new. You can create a Word document, a presentation, spreadsheet, and forms which you use to actually create online surveys. So today we're going to create a spreadsheet. We're not going to create exactly the same spreadsheet as the TV watching because that's the assignment. What we're going to do is we're going to do a little spreadsheet on hockey stats. And so you can see it. I'm just going to highlight this area because it's like a word processor as well. I'm just going to make the font size 14. And we're going to type in a title, hockey, hockey stats. And there's a number of players. I'm going to put a title player. And we're going to have goals and assists. So first player we're going to have is Jacobs. Three goals, nine assists. Second player we have is Smith. Uh, six goals and one assist. And the third player we're going to have is Wong at 14 goals and 5 assists. You notice too, when you type in uh, words, or what they call labels with spreadsheets, is that they're automatically left justified. If you use this tool, if you highlight it and use this tool, you can justify those to the right. So they line up underneath the numbers. OK, let's make a graph. It's easy. You highlight the data. Notice that we started at the player. We include all the players and the goals. The reason you do that are, is that these are now going to be labels within your graph. You'll see. Right over here is your graphing icon, so you click on it. It's called a chart. And when you click on it, you'll see that the graph should come up. Here we go. And this is the kind of graph we want in this assignment. This is a bar graph. You'll notice that it gives you goals and assists. Those are those labels. It gives the players names, all three. And actually, when you cursor over, you can see the exact number for each one of those. Once you're satisfied with your graph, if you go to the bottom, 
You're then going to insert the graph into your spreadsheet. I'm just going to pull that over so you can actually see the data and the graph at the same time. Okay, this graph looks, looks good. So we're going to share it with our teachers. So you click on share. Before you share, you have to give it a name. So I'm just going to call it Hockey Stats. Okay, click on share settings right here. And you just have to type in the name of the teacher. Well, my name is Mr. Nevin, so I'm going to share this one with myself. So type in Nevin, click, and share. And now you can see that it's shared with the teacher. The teacher can actually edit it, so the teacher could put marks or, or comments right into it. So I'm going to close that off, and you're done. Don't forget to sign up.